Hi everyone, in this video I will add a building zone to the model and calculate the required airflow. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! First of all, I will add a building zone to the model. To do so, we come to the building model working mode and we access the building zones function. Uh, I will click on the plus sign to add a new zone and I'll give a name of second floor. And now I click to add rooms here. So I'll click on the living room, the three bedrooms and the staircase hallway. And now I click enter, I press enter. As we can see, this zone has identified all the rooms from this story. And now I will close. In the menu view, solid fuel zones, we can activate the building zones. This way we can clearly see the zones we have in the model. Next, I want to activate a intelligent text, it's called part text for the rooms, so that we can see the information for the ventilation. So we come to text all rooms, and I will select the predefined uh, text type called ventilation. And I will just add a erase background option and click OK. Click yes. And here it is. Next, I'll also activate this part text for the air terminals. To do so, I will select this uh, branch but I have selected not only the air terminals, but other seg uh, duct segments. So to filter the air terminal, I will come to the function Find and Edit Objects. As we can see here, this is the supply air, uh, air terminal. So I'll select only this object. And if I select the option Add Equal Objects, the air terminals were added and they are selected in the list. So I'll click on the Edit uh, option and now we can see that this air terminal has a maximum airflow of three, um, 30 cubic, meter per, uh, cubic meters per hour so that this is what we want to know from from this tab and in the tab text I will activate the part text and I will also erase the background and I'll click OK and close so here they are now we can see uh, which is the, the volume flow we have in your terminals and also the required volume flow in each room. But bear in mind, we didn't calculate it yet. So to, to know the correct values, we come to building and now we are going to calculate the zone that we have created. So first of all, I'll change the ventilation system type to VAC ventilation air conditioning and then I will click calculate. So in the tab airflow we see here the, the volume and the required airflow for each room and here the exchange rate. In the tab air terminals we see all the air terminals that have been inserted with the predefined flow. So I'll click split airflow and the air terminals are calculated from the required flow. We see that an issue has been added. So if we click see more, we see that we have two air terminals that exceed the maximum of 30 cubic meters per hour. And they are in the living room as we can see here. <clears throat> So I'll click OK, I'll click OK again, and I will refresh. If we come to the room function and click inside the living room, we see that the flow for the air terminals are in red. So one possibility here is to add a new air terminal. So what I will do, I will select this branch, and as we have done Previously, I will come back to the default working mode, the duct network, and I will select the repeat branch function. I will select the first option of copy branch, click OK, 
and I'll add this earth terminal here. <clears throat> now, if we recalculate So come to the air terminals, he split airflow, and now we see that we have three air terminals in the living room, and all the values are within the 30 cubic meters per hour. If you like this video, share it with your colleagues. If you have any questions or suggestions, put a comment below and I'll get back to you. Cheers!